All right, 84 by 5s and 83 by 10s, kind of what we're looking for. It would be nice as well just to see what the uh, Future Stars situation looks like. One thing that's real interesting, guys, about the Future Stars cards is how many of them have common golds. Not even necessarily silvers and bronzes, but how many of them have common golds. Because things like premium gold player packs and stuff are going to be phenomenal for packing them. They are going to be good. Here's the 83 by 10s. None of them so far. Now, people have been getting these like hotcakes. So I really expect them to be very common. Also, if EA... Oh, guys. I submitted everything into the uh, exchange. Oh, my days. I've got like five or six or seven of those 51 player packs. I could end up hitting some mad amounts, man. Hackable because they're trash cards. I don't, I don't think so. I think. Oh, you've got some. Yeah, th this is where you get one. See, I told you. Look at that. Wait, what even is that? Is that what the Future Stars design is? Purple. That's interesting. Ooh, there you go. Pablo Barrios. They need to give compensation for the 85 plus pack. The weight on the 85s is too high. That's not how it works, mate. Sorry, bro. <laughs> That's not how it works. 24 duplicates. We're at that stage now where, you know, team of the year, every single duplicate was the most valuable thing you've ever had. Now, duplicates are like whatever. That's why the exchange expired. They knew what they were doing. I agree. Jesus, man, people are getting crazy amounts of fodder out of these packs. Throwing it away. Why not? Yeah, the hero comp needs to come, doesn't it? I'm, I'm waiting for that as well. Oh, wait. What is that? Is that an inform? It's an inform, isn't it? Donnarumma Plus. Oh, no. It was literally an inform. Uh, the goalkeeper there. The thing at the top left looks similar to the icon one. No, icons are a bit more white. Oh, you mean like our player picks? Yeah, maybe our player picks because of the little uh, trim, I suppose. Oh, also the icon ones could... Oh, yeah, right. I wonder what it's going to be like to actually pack an icon out of one of these. 51 players pack again. Oh, damn, that's too bad. See, Arsenal, David, you say acrobatic and power header are bad, underwhelming play styles. I think that there is a very small portion of this community... That are so engaged and ingrained with that one style of play that they don't realize that actually those play styles are really really good like if you look okay don't necessarily take it from me because i'm three and six this week at the moment but if you've got a couple of whip pass plus players and then two of your strikers oh he's already packed gerard tradable as well jesus christ and then two of your strikers with acrobatic plus and power header plus and aerial in the the way of Brobby as well I'm, i might have to go to uh 442 and just start playing whip pa whip passes into the two strikers all right this guy's got some nice packs as well oh let me turn my icon off oh it's one he's got one It was Kimmich and Endo. Quite beyond. That's what you do, 442. Yeah, it might be time for me to move away from the 4321 and try and meta ratting it and just. FC Pro open is literally cross to Holland, knock it down. Is that right? But they do it in 4321, though. How do they use 4321 to like cross it in constantly? Oh, nice, Ter Stegen. Aerial best playstyle plus. What was that? I didn't see that. Is that an icon? An inform. All backs overlap. Lap. They don't whip cross it. The R1 cross it. Oh, wait. They use the... Uh... That, that one, that's interesting. 
And do they do it just from wherever they are in the uh, on the field? The lofted cross. They set up four three two one to play like a four four two. Lol G, thanks for the two power. Any idea how many are silver and bronze? Uh, not off the top of my head. No, I didn't. I didn't have a proper look at it. Lofted cross because there's a guaranteed win. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, the L, yeah, not the R one, not the incisive cross thing. The L one one. Yeah. That's interesting. That's really interesting. They put him at left forward. Loft cross to him. Damn. Wow, this guy's got such good packs and he's getting bred. Two silvers, is it? Eight nine Tersh Diggin. Oh, tradable. Love that. Nep, can you do both either at the same time? No. Three silver, no bronze. And how many common golds? Because that's where I think people are going to start packing loads of these. Bro, let the AI win the ball in the air rather than do it manually. Oh, so they flip it up, for example, towards Holland, but then play a lock to the guy in the middle, press pass, and then the AI gets up and passes it. Is that right? Probably won't help me when I'm defending because I'm awful at defending. Hey, GG's, bro. Yeah, don't blame me for not throwing that away. All right. Deji, here we go, buddy. They've moved away from normal Evo for past and present stuff because of the Evo glitch, I think. Do you agree? Yes. FC Pro equals abuse game mechanics, broken mechanics. But that's the thing, right? You are right. You're absolutely right. Uh, when, when you watch the pro competitions, that's where you actually see the most broken mechanics. And if what we're reading in the chat is right, they're not sitting there Traveller and finesse shotting from the top of the box. They're sitting there crossing it to power header and aerial pluses. Which means EA giving these very good players power header plus is very good. Oh, they do Traveller a lot as well. I actually thought we'd see a lot more of these uh, Future Stars cards than we have. Do you think it's an oversight that attacker Evo doesn't require attackers? Uh, it, it it does only require attackers, yeah. Athenia Evo with 69 curve is crazy. Yeah, yeah, come on, where are these cards, man? There's four silver rare. Is doing the normal silver upgrade better than the premium silver upgrade? It, it just comes down to luck at the end of the day. Right, it doesn't require attackers. But it requires the Evos. When we get mids or defenders, you could put them in this one. Ah. Oh. So I, I saw that we had defenders on, like the, the Future Star Defender thing. Here we go, Future Star. I saw we had the Future Star Defender thing leaked. I didn't see a midfielder one. Yeah, not as a chain, but just in general. If, like, this is what I think, Josh, right? And this is one of those things where it's like, for the Arsenal Evo RTG, this is going to be a nightmare. But for everything else, this could be really good. If EA do give, because, like, even though these players aren't, like, broken meta, meta, broken meta... I still think they are very, very good and they get full chemistry, which I think has gone overlooked quite a lot, right? If they give us two midfielders and two defenders as well, you're literally looking at six... Like, forget the goalkeeper, because who cares? You're literally looking at six very good players with full chem on people's teams. And I think it's EA's way of trying to allow people that have got EVO squads to catch up. Wow, you've got Rooney already. GG's, man. That's nice. I think it's EA's way of trying to allow people that are doing EVO squads to catch up, which is real cool if you're just doing any EVO squad. And it's also real cool if one of these players is from the team that you're doing, that you're EVOing and stuff, right? But if you're doing like a club squad and none of these players fit in it, it's kind of like... Like, if we don't get a single one of these Arsenal, these as an Arsenal player, may, may, just just maybe, just maybe, it's time for me to 
have like the Evo RTG as like season two and be like, guys, this is the end of the RTG as we know it. We're going to move away from Arsenal only players unless I can up Evo up the cards that I've already got and we're going to start working on other players and just building an Evo team rather than the Arsenal Evo team and trying to keep in as many Arsenal players as possible. These aren't proper Evos. It's just like an objective. The whole fun of Evos is picking random players. There will be no variation in what everyone has. I actually think they're all good enough to the point where not everyone's going to have the same ones. Like, for example, I, I, I think I'm going to do Brobby and Okafor, and I don't think anyone anyone's going to do Brobby. People look at Brobby and are saying no. You don't think it needs a change on the Evo front? The reason why I think it's going to need to, Josh, is because I've already got 11 expired Evos, and now EA need to release very, very, very explicitly perfect for me Evos for me to upgrade other cards, and I don't think they will. Or at least it won't be regular. Like there's, we're going to be in a situation where there's going to be loads and loads. Don't throw that away. You can go and use that. Where there's going to be loads and loads of um, Evos that I, I simply just can't put a player into. Regarding the shitters, will you just miss this Evo out? Yeah. Eggerberg. Eggerberg. Oh, God. Probably would explain this. Can you explain how do we get the Future Stars Academy players and when do they expire? Uh, so in the pack, mate. In in the store, sorry. A pack in the store. You get it. Me nep if this is the way Evos are going. It sucks as I'm doing a hearts from the Scottish League Evo team and we never get any special cards. So I mean, no more Evos. I don't think this is going to be the way that they're doing it. I think that they're just doing it specifically with these cards because... They want future stars to be the Evos. Oh, De Bruyne are nice. And if they release this exact same Evo, I don't think they could do age requirement on it, basically. And I think that's why we've got it like this. What I, th what I would like to see, and what I've hoped that this will sort of like have EA start to do is, I really like getting promo-specific Evos like this, but also keep giving us Evos like we've been having, but also give us like smaller upgrade Evos. This guy's got some really nice packs. Here we go. Another Future Stars. Poland. Goalkeeper. I didn't know there was a few. It's Chesney. I didn't know he was so young. All right, what is it? You hit three in one? GG's, mate. Who is it? Le Muel. Le Muel. Rebs. You got Bonnie face. Do I think the exchange will come back? I do think the exchange will come back, yeah. 83 by 10. Nothing in here. Can you still do two of at the same time? You can't, no, unfortunately not. Because Petit is coming up at 65 in search bar, can I get him from bronze packs? Uh, in any case, Joshua, 65 is a silver card, not a bronze card, but no. They should continue doing Evos the way they are doing them. They don't probably want Evo every month. I don't know about every month. We've only got about like seven months of the game left. I think Elliot is very cheap, yeah. I think he's a lot cheaper than I thought he was going to be. I even think Arda Gula is very cheap as well. But it, again, what it actually exacerbates is just how good people's teams are to the point where like a really good attacking midfielder is not good enough because they've already got like the Eusebios and, and that sort of player. I did. They have new player faces, all the icons to make them look young. Oh, in-game. That's quite interesting. Ooh, that's nice. Evan Godski. 86 by 3. Here we go. I I'm feeling two in here. I'm feeling two in here. Eggerberg. Born then. Oh, this must be a massive one then. If she's the face card, this has to be a 90 rated, right? Because they're all untradeable, so same discard price. Never mind. Bissek's still all right, though, to be fair. I don't mind him. I think he looks quite good with a shadow. Egerberg, Reinhard, and Bissek. Draft? I will be doing a draft, yeah. Yeah, we will do a draft. Try my best not to cry. Right, and an 84 by 10. 
another one. Oh, never mind. Hey, Gigi's uh, Taylor Pout. You're right, but who has like an infinite amount of Team of the Years and Icons? Not very many people. I, I, I think that we have to compare what we're getting now to the SBC teams that we've we kind of like put together, right? Um, Dutch, center mid, Barcelona. So it's De Jong and an 87 guaranteed. Who's that? Pablo Barrios. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think we have to compare like, are they better than Player of the Month and Bappe? Are they better than um, Paolo Maldini? Are they better than uh, Eusebio? Are they better than Ashley Cole at left back? Are they better than Cafu at right back? Are they better than um, Sauer? Are they better than George Best? They're, that's what I think we need to be comparing these cards to because that's what I think most people have. Portugal, centre mid, Bernardo Silva, and who's that? Burma. That's a bit of a dead pack, to be fair, isn't it? Tough. I think it's tough to compare cards to multi-million coin SBCs, and it leans into massive mismanagement of SBCs this year from EA. Yeah, it has It has been bad from EA this year. Like, even, even right now, even right now, Eusebio's Centurion's SBC is one of the best attackers in the game, and he's been out for, like, three months. And that's... It's just... Yeah, I, I think they just got this game wrong with the power curve. I, I think I, I I see what I think they did though, right? I, for me, in their head, they're like, "Look, we'll boost the power curve in terms of in-game stats very quickly, you know, and the ratings very quickly, and then to improve the power curve, we'll start adding skill moves and weak foot, one playstyle plus, two playstyle pluses, three playstyle pluses." That's what I thought in their head. I thought that in their head. That's where it would be, basically. But the problem with what they've created is, you know, that, that for example, that Eusebio SBC is still, like, you, like, that Eusebio SBC is so good that you would rather him than, like, Brobby with two playstar pluses with this, with this new Evo, right? That's where I think the, uh, that's where I think they got it wrong. I, I think in their head, they saw the power curve kind of, like, dipping and raising again with two playstar pluses. But it's just not been the reality. Oh, this guy's going for the store pack. He's got one. Brazil. Oh, goalkeeper, never mind. He's better than the entire Future Stars promo. Yeah, agreed. Bisek again. Bisek. Damn, that's tough. No dupes though, mate. RV Elliott face dribbling is much lower than it actually is in game. Yeah, I like. I can't believe. I, I genuinely can't believe Harvey Elliott was down at 140k. I think he's one of those cards that in a day or two is going to be like 300,000 coins. Obviously, I could very, very, very well be wrong. Another store pack and another future stars card. Oh, wait, hold on. Yep, this that's a duplicate, isn't it? That's rough. Oh, duck. Gula's all right. Gula, Gula, I thought I was going to be gone Astro for a second there. The Man United kit threw me off. Um, again, I can't believe his price. He's like 400k, but he is really, really nice. See, now we're at that stage now with like, even with the Arsenal Evo RTG, right? Where I'm like, I see some of these cards and I just want to play with some of these cards. I see that Gula card and I'm like, damn, if I pack him, I'm just going to want to play with him. GG's a golfing pal. Harvey Elliott is 350k. Oh, is he? Oh, he's already like flown up then. He literally, when we was like doing the 6pm content, he was 140k. He's 168k. Okay. I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Have a Magull. That guy's waffling hard. Stop waffling hard, bro. Who's he got? Another, another Gula. Mate, his defending and physical is a bit of a problem. But the rest of his card is so nice. Oh, I'm going to pack so many on the Arsenal Evo RTG, aren't I? Bunch of sub 200k on the market. Oh, 
I think I've, I've I feel like you're you're po potentially wrong. There are so many bids of 350k plus on the early cards now. Is that okay? So somebody's seeing a bid and thinking that that's the price because people are impatient and immediately want to bid on those cards. However, now this this goes back to like a so rare esque sort of thing. If they were numbered. I would be totally okay with overspending on like the very first card. Imagine you get the number one of. You'd be gassed, wouldn't you? Like I've got the first ever pack pulled Ardagula or whatever it may be. The trade window at least. Yeah, you was checking the bids out. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough, man. That's all right. When is 6pm video out? Probably in the next like 10 to 15 minutes. It's a long one today. plus rare gold player I know who you're going to probably Evo but who do you think is the best in general who do I think is the best in general I think Athenia is definitely one of the best because you you can't you just can't turn down um, five star five star and I think I, I actually think it's probably Athenia and Millard that are the best but I also think I think Okafor and Brobby are going to be the most broken. You know, they're big, big guys with great stats, great play styles. Oh, this guy's got <coughs> this guy's got uh, player picks. Come on, low, low. Yeah, but you just set his uh, you in in get you just set him to like get forward, which negates low, low. Um, and then in game you just do up up on the d-pad for getting like getting in the box and that will just set him to start getting in there i i'm i am almost definitely going to do okafor definitely no question about it and then my then debate is between jesus ferreira and brobby and the reason why i would go for jesus ferreira is because i just really like him because of so rare um, so I've got kind of like a little bit of an attachment to him. He's also got much better passing than Brobby, but much worse physical, so I don't know. Oh, he's got 85 plus rare gold player pack. Oh, he's got one as well. Go on in, go on in. Spain centre mid, yeah, never mind. You did Okafor and Athenia. The other thing that I really like about these, they get full chem. That's just great, isn't it? Forsberg and MLS so rare will be a shout out. Yeah, you're right. GG's on Pablo Barrios, my man. He's actually got 93 short passing. It's just his vision that's poor. He's also got quite low stamina, which is a bit of a shame. But he has got Bruiser, Aerial, Power Header Plus. And that's what I think is going to make him crazy broken. There you go. He's going to go and use his name. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of the video for today. Let me know what you packed down below. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait, hold on. Is he just... He's just discarded. He wants to rip packs. He wants to rip packs. He's got quick sell recovery. He wants to rip packs. Uh, Ty Chrome, thanks for the prime, bro. Man, that Ryan dude. Would the provisions pack have these cards? Yes. Probably perfect for the Ajax Evo team. Yeah, if you've got... Oh, is that, is that an informer or an icon? That was an informer, it? If you're doing Real Madrid, Bayern, Man United, AC Milan, Real Betis, Ajax, what have we got? We've got Orlando, Frankfurt, and Dallas. You're really happy. What I'm going to have the benefit of doing is building these two cards that I'm going to take. I don't know which ones I'm going to take, but building these two cards that I'm going to take and playing in champs with them at three and six. Because <laughs> I suck at this game today. Oh, I'm going to start the RTG from the beginning and just say to people that I gave away some wins early to try and get some uh, easier wins on the way up. You know what I'm saying? Cheeky Kalor Navas. Yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.